on the previous episode for this unit that I'm wearing right now. guys so I'm in Big Lots and um, I came in to find a rug for the boys room and I got this one I know you can't really tell but here's the pattern of what it looks like and then kind of matching it up with this so I just want to play off of the textures and um, hopefully what I'm seeing will work. All right, fancy beauties and bows, let's go ahead and get started with this transformation. So the first thing I'm going to do is see where I'm going to start first, which is it's so hard so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the boys situated and I'm gonna put them in my room while I begin to kind of dismantle their room first because you know that's where you have to start you have to tear down before you build up <laughs> so let's get the little worms in my room and comfortable in my bed here comes AJ on his little phone child. <laughs> and here I am off to work. So I am going to go ahead, of course, and take up that rug first. Kind of get it out of the way. And then it's going to end up in my room. You guys might see that later in another video. I'm not sure because I didn't really do anything major to my room except for put that rug in there. And then, of course, I'm going to get all of the little dust bunnies away, give the floor a nice mop, a nice fragrance, and move on from there. Just in case you guys are wondering, his bed, Jamari's bed, I picked that up from Target. It was either Target or TJ Maxx. And it was Target in Georgia, in Canton, Georgia. And then the bunk beds, I picked those up from Wayfair. And I believe I paid $7.99, something like that. I'll try and see if I can look it up and then if so if I find it I'll run it across the screen all right so we're going ahead we're sweeping now we're gonna you know go ahead and mop in um, areas as well as I'm moving along I'm sweeping and mopping so if that makes sense so I'm now trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this um, so I think I ended up putting it, yeah, I ended up putting everything in the closet so I can kind of move the dressers out and then that would give me more space because I got to lay that rug down first.
Now, side note, guys, this rug, you guys know I picked it up from Big Lots. This rug is everything. I wanted to sleep on this rug. It's so plush. It's so comfortable. So that that area rug is really made of good quality. I have to let you guys know that. And I can't remember how much I paid for it. I want to say $130. I know the one I picked up for the dining room was $130, but I'm not sure how much that one was. So right now I'm just going to iron their curtains, you know, kind of get the wrinkles out of it before I hang them up. And these are of good quality as well. They're not as flowy as I would like for them to be, but for the winter months and actually for the summer months too, it will really work well because it'll help protect everything from the elements you know summertime from the sun and then in the winter time it'll help to keep the cold out as well especially if you have drafty windows and those I picked up from big lots as well Now the way I'm ironing the curtains is I'm ironing them two at a time and I'm putting the backs to face each other. That way when I flip it over, I can just go ahead and iron the other side because the other side will have less wrinkles for me to have to deal with. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead, of course, and take down the old curtains. And I was actually debating if I was going to leave them up because the color would have gone with this. But I wanted to kind of keep the trend or vision, maybe I should say that, <laughs> going. So I opted to go with the ones that I just purchased. The ABCs, I had those already. And unbeknownst to me, I did not even know that those colors were in the colors that I had in my head. So just goes to show you when something is coming to you, just go ahead and work with it. Just flow with it. These I picked up from Big Lots as well and um, those really came in handy. I picked up two sets of those. And that, it really made a difference in the room. You guys will see that later on in the video, but it really, really brought the room together along with the area rug. And the boys really like it, they're so happy. When I was done, I was like, oh, I want to sleep in here so comfy and cozy. So I'm just trying to figure out how to place these up the best way that it will look, you know, more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I don't want to just put them up there just to put them. I want it to make sense and I want it to flow right.
So now we have the curtains up and we're going to go ahead and get the boys toys in order. And I, all I'm going to do is just transfer from the red and the black storage bins to the gray solid color and the printed gray. Because again, I told you guys I wanted to just kind of play with textures and patterns. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do with that bin area. I do want to find a better bookcase, but I think I don't know if I want to get it now or just wait until I move. But if I decide to get it, I will update you guys and let you see how it turned out because I'm thinking if I do change it, I kind of like that brown just to give it some dimension in their room. But I might go with a white or even if I could find a, a gray, like a wood gray, the grainy wood uh, type of pattern. I might go with that. I uh, kind of don't want to use too much more gray for them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just making up the bed right now, just making up Jamari's because we're just about done. At this point, that um, light up picture that you guys are going to see that's over Jamari's bed, I gave you like a little clip of it being lit up I thought it was going to do more than what it did but it's still cute it's cute nevertheless and of course it runs by battery so I believe from here it's pretty self explanatory so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the music enjoy seeing your girl work her fingers to the bone and enjoy the video so until next time guys you stay fancy stay focused on god stay when i say stay true to yourself i mean your inner emotions find out what that is what you're body is telling you what your emotions are telling you and kind of hone in on that don't run from it and don't like push it to the side because that could be where your growth is coming through so just kind of make sure you stay really really tuned in to yourself and take time for yourself I had to learn that uh, this last week you know things kind of got a little rough for you girl but good I'm back I'm still fancy I'm still positive I'm gonna always stay positive even through those times and I want you to do the same thing so that's pretty much it stay locked and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe girl what are you waiting for go ahead and smash that subscribe button click that notification bell hit the like button please because it helps us out when we do these videos because you know youtube has all these hoops we have to jump through so don't forget me help me out and then i'll see you guys in the next video i love you